Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tackwood Solutions here with another video. Very quick recap on the day. We had an amazing time within the Learn Plan Profit live trading session, trading live with the Learn Plan Profit group. Today alone was a very eventful day. Not every day is like this. I cleared a little bit over $5,000 profit as you guys can see on the screen right now. So what I actually wanna talk about today is American Airlines. A lot of people are bringing up the question because American Airlines made new lows on the 180 day chart. I actually have it on the screen back here as well. It kind of brings up the question. A lot of people see a lot of upside potential, no question, because it used to trade around the $30 price point. Now that it hit lows of $8, although it was there just for a little bit, it made a quick recovery back at $9. And I think at the end of the day in the green. But now the question is, is it a good time to invest? In American Airlines. A lot of people are, are wanting to invest their money long term into American Airlines. And one of the things that I want to at least take into consideration is I was someone that um, still sees somewhat value in American Airlines. And in this video, you can share your opinion down in the comments section. But one of the things that I was taking into consideration is like many of you guys know, uh, I was setting money aside to invest long term because of the cruise line and the overall airline industry that was hit the hardest, right? I wanted something that offered a lot of upside potential and that I knew would take years to potentially recover. I felt like the airline industry and the cruise line industry would definitely meet that specific criteria. But what I read about American Airlines today, uh, although it was on the top of my list, made me second guess myself when it comes down to the overall value and upside potential that American Airlines has to offer. So what I'm gonna do is even after you watch this video, I'm gonna link that article down below so you can take time, do your own due diligence, and then better decide if American Airlines is an investment that you personally want to take advantage of. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope that I earn your thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that like button. And the first thing that that I want to talk about is that American Airlines in Q2 plans to report a six billion dollar loss. One of the things that they're currently experiencing is a 70 million dollar burn rate a day and they plan to by July to get to a 50 million dollar burn day by July 2020. What that means is they're pretty much going through 70 million dollars a day as of right now but working towards July as hopefully overall airline travel begins to pick up they can reduce that to 50 million dollars a day. Altogether, they're expected to hit a total of $40 billion in debt. And like many of you guys know, the CARES Act was a huge help for the overall airline industry where the Trump administration granted a series of different businesses, especially the airline industry, billions and billions of dollars to make sure that it can make it through this overall pandemic and shutdown. $11 billion is what American Airlines has in liquidity and $10.6 billion of that, of the $11 billion, come from the CARES Act. And now it's beginning to make a little bit more sense on why Warren Buffett was a little bit more on the uncertain side when a business needs to borrow money to operate, especially when it comes down to, you know, $11 billion of what it has in liquidity, 10.6 billion of that comes from the CARES Act. So it kind of gets you to ask the question if that CARES Act was never taken into consideration and was never created by the Trump administration, would American Airlines still be able to operate? Now, the other thing that I do want to talk about is a huge source when it comes down to these overall airline industries are their airline credit cards. Like many of you guys know, American Airlines offers their Advantage program. And one of the things that you have to take into consideration is that you most likely have to pay a fee when it comes down to that. And because that was a good chunk of their overall revenue, that's something that you have to take into consideration, especially as Americans were laid off and they're really trying to cut back on expenses. Do you really think that they're gonna find these overall airline credit cards to be as essential. Now, the other thing that I do wanna talk about is as America does ease back into business, a lot of people are talking about making a transition back to normal work life. Now, one of the things that we've already adapted to is trying to still be able to run our businesses by not needing to travel as much. So American Airlines has 8.6 billion in outstanding advantage miles. And if you really think about that, in comparison to their overall market cap for American Airlines, that's $3.87 billion. So that's more than double of their overall market cap that they have in outstanding passenger miles for their advantage members. Now, one of the things that the Boeing CEO did say is the overall airline industry expected to be back up to 50% of what it was in 2019, 
by September. But even the CEO of Boeing itself said that if it were even to be at 25% in comparison to what it was doing in 2019, by the end of 2020 would be a surprise. And it makes sense. We've adapted to being able to work from home. So non-essential flights and overall vacations that run the risk of potentially getting infected are less likely to happen as people don't necessarily have the confidence to travel as much. So now the question to ask yourself with the overall idea that they expect to be $40 billion in debt by the end of 2020. They are burning as of right now, $70 million a day and expect to by July to be at a burn rate of $50 million a day, which is an improvement, right? But taking that into consideration and what they have in liquidity of $11 billion, $10.6 billion of that come from the United States government and the overall CARES Act. So from taxpayers like you and I. So taking all of that into consideration, do you think as we make a slow transition back into work life and even a slower transition back to using non-essential ways to travel, which again, air travel can be viewed as one of those, do you think that a company that is already so negatively affected by the overall outbreak of the coronavirus can make a recovery? So a lot of people are just thinking about the upside versus the downside and taking into consideration that the risk to reward is in your favor because it did used to trade at $30. And with the understanding that it used to trade at $30, yes, the upside would potentially be at 200% return based off of its current price point. But with the idea that things get back to normal of how they were last year in 2019, but overall flights are still down over 90% based off of where they were last year. And people say that not only can it take years, but potentially a decade decade to get to the same demand levels that we experienced in 2019. So although it might be viewed as a long-term investment, do you think that American Airlines, one of many other airlines out there, is a company that can make it through with its current debts and how we make a slow transition back into our normal work life? Let me know down in the comment section. I just wanted to make sure that I provided what I learned about American Airlines today. I'm gonna to link that article down below. And one of the main reasons that I'm deciding to hold off on my long-term investment on American Airlines. I do agree, there is a lot of upside, but with the overall idea that if American Airlines continues to burn as much cash as they are now, and they end up running out, the idea of them going bankrupt isn't something that's out of the question. So although there is a lot of upside, you also have to take into consideration that you could potentially lose your entire investment if you do choose to buy the dip when again, things are so uncertain. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I really hope that I earned a thumbs up in this video. Again, all together on the day, made a little bit over $5,000 profit. Make sure that if you want to stay connected, we do run the largest YouTube channel and the largest Facebook group in the world for those who day trade in the stock market. So if you want to stay connected, click that second link down below and join our free Facebook group with over 270,000 members. If you guys would like to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, that's the Learn Plan Profit Group. And by clicking the third link, you can see if it's a good fit for you. Like always team, let's make sure that we end the year on a green now. Take it easy.